daughter said, examination over, you get this. She never missed it. Dr. Wolf, can we fix it with Rome? I said, yes, you have a very common disease among American women called U.S. disease. She said, U.S. disease? I said, yes, that's the word your face looks just like U.S. <laughs> yeah, we know everybody knows more of them, don't you? Uh-huh. You get drink. Uh, yeah, it's TDs. It's a bad time. I feel bad for all you young guys out here. Where you at? Not you. I don't know you. You know what I am. Some of you young guys, yeah, one of the young guys sitting over there. Yeah, I really feel good. See, I lived through the sexual revolution. I'm 44 years old. They, I mean, there were times, folks, when I was the sexual revolution. You know what I'm saying? There were times I thought everything was moving. There was shit wiggled, caught the corner of my eye, and I jumped the sex. I was on top of that one. I thought some things that didn't move. You know, when I had a really good stash, climbed right on, shit, it don't move. It's all right. I didn't lose anything. Jelly got enough, went on home anyway. You know what I'm saying? I feel bad for you guys. I really do. The sexual revolution has come and gone, and now you guys, you got to cover up, man. I mean that in all seriousness. It's a comedy act, but I mean it seriously. Y'all out there stroking and poking. If you're going to take that old pelvic punisher you got, you've got to put a raincoat on it and take care of your shit. Because I promise you that if you don't, one of these days you're going to be standing in the urinal shaking that thing will fall off. You know what I'm saying? You'll be looking down in the urinal, and every other guy in the joint's going to be sitting there going, <clears throat> now we can call him shorty. You know what I'm saying? But I thought about this. Look at that face. Somebody talk to me out there real quick. I heard the voice and it's a guy handing me the thing. So now I'm sitting here going, either he's sweet and ugly or he's just ugly. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate that. At any rate, I, I thought about this a lot. You know, with women, women are, are, are protected. When you all want to have oral sex with a man, because men, they make condoms for men, right? Man puts on a condom and you can jump on that thing and you, 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 you know, whatever you want to do. Oh, you can take it. But what about the men? Guys, they forgot us. You want women, how many women, by applause, don't raise you, have to raise you, how many women enjoy oral sex? I'm looking for the one lone motherfucker that ain't clapping. I don't see you, so I guess you Miss Carrie. You want to fight it? Is you crazy? Who that? You and her? Are you going to tell me you? Don't tell me you because uh, we got to talk after the show, okay? I got something going to help you out, though. If you don't, you will. I'm going to help you out. Stay with me. Okay, bro? I ain't with me, man. Don't make me put that spotlight on your ass. Okay, you stay with me. Let me tell you what I got. I got a little thing over here. Let me stretch over here. I got a goodie box. I got a goodie bag. And I have a product here. And this is strictly for us guys now because we need some help. See, we need to be able, we got a couple of reasons for this. I need volunteers. Somebody, somebody volunteer. When I look up, I want to see a, a raised, I want to see a raised hand somewhere. Oh, yeah. You, you want to do Come here. Come up here. Stand up here. I want to stand right up here. What's your name? David. Okay, David. You, you do how to read it. You can read it. You articulate. You enjoy oral sex. When this is over, you're going to love my ass. You with me? Right, I want you to read just what that says right there. Oral sex says condom. You know what that means? That means men can have it down on women and we don't have to worry about shit. Now, what's a very important part of this, and this is the important part, I want you to say this so everybody can hear you. Remember, it's not the texture of the tongue, it's the flick of the lip. Is that the truth or is that the truth? Is that the truth? All right, and I, how many people would like to have this product? What would you pay for? What would you pay for something like this? Would you pay a dollar? Would you pay? Would you, the women, I know the women out here saying, I'll give you any goddamn thing you want. You know, every woman out here saliva, they go, I want five. That's for the trip home. You pay check for the next two weeks. There it is, right there. Get it. You better get it. You want some? Where at? There you go. Hey, these ain't goddamn lead fishing weights, man. Y'all gotta reach for these motherfuckers. Grab it. You better get them. You want one? There's the one for you. I know you're going to. There's a lady over there. Where you at? Who's in the back? Man, I ain't never going to make this. Watch it. Get them. All right, go out there. Go right behind her. I ain't going to want three of them. Shit. Hey, hey. There's about two hours worth. 
Don't open them up. I do not want you to open these things up. Do not open these up. Who need to get some? Y'all pass some shit way back here. Help me out. Grab those things and throw them to those people back there. I see that nice little lady sitting with that gentleman at that table waving her hand. You better somebody better make sure she gets one. The man, the man has a neck problem. Here you go. Toss them. Throw them. Throw them, people. Throw them out there because and, and you can read them. You can have these. They're for free. And if you don't get one, you can see me after the show. Now, I want to show you how this works. That's why I don't want you to open them up. Don't open these up, okay? I'm going to open mine. Oh, shit. I can't open it up. My lady helped me do this. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right, here we go. This is the men's safe sex for oral sex with women condom. That's it, folks. Guys, that's all you need. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you here. This is great, man. I thought about, I thought about this for, for hours. It's not the texture of the tongue, it's the flick of the lip. Come on, it's not the texture of the tongue, it's the... Think about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Now, <laughs> so, you know, did you get one? You maybe you got three. That's uh, three for the trip home and one for the morning. These, these things are really great for two reasons. Number one, you can now have oral sex and it's safe. I guarantee you that nothing short of it, well... Some of you silver tongue devils may have to watch poking hole in this son of a bitch. And some of you goddamn women with that ear grabbing. What is it about that ear grabbing shit? What's wrong with you people? He ain't handles, man. I listen to this shit. You know, you're deep in hell, man. You better grab my ponytail. That's why I mentioned that if you're going to have oral sex, you guys got hair. You ain't got hair. I'm sorry. I can't help you. But if you got hair, get in the ponytail because it's like a rudder. They can steer your ass all day long. You know what I'm saying? They get you down there, they just left and right. And then when they try to push you in, just go with the flow. Don't fight them, okay? They think you're really good, I'll tell you the truth. They actually work. I, uh, I, brought up, I tested my products. Each and every one of them. So if they stick together when you open them up, just score a little word on them. Don't worry about it. I, I got quality control, right? You got to make sure the shit goes. You know what I'm saying? But there's, no, there's another good reason for this. I want to tell you why. Guys, Gotta tell you, I got some bad news for you. Of all the animals on the face of the earth, we are the only people, we are the only beings, men, all us men, who have lost our sense of smell. We cannot smell. Okay? We are the only animals on the face of the earth when a woman is approaching her period, which when we're talking about animals, we say they're in heat. You try telling a bitch, you're in heat, she'll kill you. You know, I, it's my time of the month. I am not in the heat. I am not an animal. Yes, you are an animal. Yes, you are an animal. You're a warm-blooded, fire-breathing, PMSing, raging bitch. Okay? And, and, and men, and, and what happens? We walk right into it. You know what I'm saying? Because we lost our sense of smell. Bears, uh, deer, giraffes, bulls, a goddamn gorilla knows enough to stay away from the female because he can... You can smell. It's that time of the month. Don't go near the cunt when she's PMSing. Don't do it. Stay away. You know, cavemen. Cavemen had their smell. Cavemen used to come home, walk in the door, honey, I'm a... Oh, shit. I'm home to tell you that I'm uh, going pterodactyl, honey. I'll be going for a week. See you in a while. Bye. And that cat's out of the house. You know what I'm saying? Because he could smell. Now let me tell you what screwed up our sense of smell. What do you think happened? Shelby, what happened? I, it, it's that goddamn oral sex y'all keep jerking on, just dragging us down there, and there's something in those pheromones that just kills the nostrils. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not a complaint, it's an observation. Because with this, ladies and gentlemen, when you have one of these, there is no smell. You know what I'm saying? So guys, you got to use these things not only to keep yourself from getting any STDs, right? But you got to use these things so that you can retain your sense of smell and protect yourself when the people in the PMS is coming. You know, with a woman, uh, I read a thing that said that women, 70% of the female population in this country has ESP. 70% of the women have some form of ESP. 
Now you know when you take a woman with ESP who's a PMS and it's your ASS. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you got to watch it, man. You got to cover yourself. That's all you got. That's it. All right, I got some more of these that I'm throwing out later on. Y'all hang on to that shit. Uh, I want to tell you, I got, how many pet owners I got out here? Where are pet owners at? Who owns pets? My husband. Anybody own a bird? <laughs> Who owns a bird? Anybody got a bird? Yeah, Nobody had a bird? I bought a bird. I want to tell you the truth. I bought a bird for a girl one time. I bought this bird. And it was one of those talking fuckers, you know? Because I figured as long as I got to have a pet in the goddamn house, I might as well have some intelligent conversation. So, anyway, I bring this bird home. And the girl that I was dating at the time, her parents were real religious. And I brought the bird home and I'm trying to get the bird to talk. And I'm telling the bird, you know, probably want a cracker and all that poor shit, you know? And the bird is saying a word. So the girl comes home, and she's just thrilled to death about this bird. She loves it. She thinks it's great. So, in order to show her gratitude, she kind of got frisky. And we sort of got naked. And we kind of wound up on the floor, fucking. And the next thing I hear out of this bird is, Ah! Somebody's going to get fucked tonight! And I'm going, no. Coming over this weekend, we can't have this shit. I mean, every time I would get near the girl, I'd just touch her. Ah! Somebody's gonna get fucked tonight. So I go back to the pet shop, tell the guy at the pet shop, say, Yo, man, I can't go for this. He said, Well, you know, no refunds. I said, Well, what we're gonna do? He said, We'll make the bird lonely. You know, maybe he's a company. I said, Well, give me a female. He said, I got a female. I thought, What do you want? My in laws coming this weekend. I can't have this bird use this pal language. What am I gonna do? He said, Look, I got this old female hoot out. I'll give you a hoot I can put the hoot out in the cage. Keep him company, maybe he'll shut his mouth. So I take the bird home, put the, put the female in the, in the cage with the parrot. Bring her girlfriend in the room, start getting frisky with her. The parrot hollers out, Ah! Somebody's gonna get fucked tonight! The hoot owl looks over and goes, Hoo, hoo. The parrot looks the hoot owl says, My name is Black Face Bitch! I thought I'd teach him a lesson, you know, because he never once shut his mouth. So I did everything I could. Every time he'd say a nasty word, right on the beach, you know, boom, nothing. He kept right at me. So I wound up putting him in a bedroom all by himself. I isolated his ass for a while. Bring him out, touch the girl. Ah, I'm not going to fight. Oh, jeez, nothing's going to work. Finally, the bird, you know, the animal, animal activists are going to get all whacked out of shape. But finally, the bird just aggravated me so goddamn bad, I stuck him in the fucking freezer. I did. Took him right over the refrigerator, opened up, put him in the freezer, left him there for two hours. Brought him out, brought the girlfriend up. I'm all over her. So I'm playing with him titties and doing all kinds of stuff. Bird ain't said a word. Finally, I walked by the cage and I said, Guess you finally learned, didn't you? He said, Ah, sure did. By the way, what'd that chicken do? Think about it, you know, come Single guys, we're all single guys out there. Single guys, raise your hand. The last single guys, is being, is being single fun or what? You enjoy being single? You like it? We can do shit nobody like married men can't do. You, 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 you super single. You married. We can do shit. See, I, I know you've been, you've been at it for a long time. How long have you been married? Five years, motherfucker, I had to stop. Look at the woman and go, so how long have I been in prison? <laughs> no, five years? That's long enough to forget the shit that we see. Men can do, we can do things like, uh, we go to the bedroom, we don't have to shut the door. Get a weird thing? Nobody wants to, you, you, can, you, uh, you can make love to them. You can, you know, they'll, uh, you can just go down on them. You can do all kinds of nasty shit, but they don't want you to watch them taking a pee. I can't figure that out, you know? And men will, men will go berserk. You're in that bedroom, man, you stand there doing that shit, and that door cracks, and you're like, hey! No! You want to shut that shit while I finish up here? Hold him. You, you actually aim for him? That's pretty goddamn sad. I had a woman off to do that for me once, but she had them fingernails. And every time I looked at that hand, my shit shrunk up, I didn't have to pee no more. She put that, let me hold it for you, baby. No, oh, no, no, no. Why would I want to put my dick in between the two the t- scissors? No, 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 you don't do that. Men get very protective about that shit. We, we 
can play with a car, you can steal our money, you can do anything but two things. Don't fuck with my dick or my asshole. There's something about the PP and the hiney hole makes a man just get crazy, you know what I'm saying? You want to threaten a man when you make him love to him, reach around there and put your finger up next to his ass, watch what happens. Because if, he if he's not into the hill at that point, he will be. You know what I'm saying? That cat will dive in so deep, you'll think you're having a tosselectomy from the inside out. You touch that little ass and go, what? What are you doing? What was that? Why are you doing that? Who, who told you? And what do men do? The first thing, you know what's bad about ladies? I just, I just got, I go back for women. Men can go out here and we can come up with the weirdest shit when it comes to sex. Men will go out here and do things like, uh, honey, let's try, uh, oh, I know, I'll strap you to the ceiling fan and lower you down on my dick. And the woman will sit there and go, okay. Right? But you let a woman, and I, this, and I noticed this happened to all the women in the world, you let a woman come up with a new position, and the guy all of a sudden, that motherfucker is out of the bed, standing alongside the bed, where the fuck did you get that idea from? Uh-huh. Where you been? And, 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 and then the women will come up with shit like, I read Cosmopolitan. You know, so the next day, the motherfucker sneaking out the door with Cosmo in his back pocket. Well, he wants to learn some shit too, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why men do that. It's a real weird thing. Single men don't know their ass from a mailbox. I'll tell you that right now. You single guys, you think you're, you think you're getting laid. You ain't getting laid. You're just fucking around. When you get married and you get like that five year thing going, see, because you can do shit and she don't even care anymore. You know what I'm saying? You you wake up in the middle of the night, you know, you walk over to the bed stage, you take your dick out, you beat your dick on, you know, she looks over and gets you, that's nice. <laughs> you know, you can't do that when you're single. When you're single dating women, it fucks you all up. Because you gotta be real dainty. You gotta be careful what you say, you gotta be careful what you do, because you don't want your woman to think you're a creep, right? You don't want anybody to think you're some kind of goddamn derelict, psychotic, sex object. You know what I mean? No, you know what? So you go to bed, you do the little, you know, and the woman does that, and the next thing you know, you know, she, you're walking out the door and she's going, fucking loser. That's true, you know it's true. You can't do it. You, the best thing you can do, and I like, when I was single, when I was dating around, when I was younger during that sexual revolution, you remember that, we were there together, weren't we? Yeah, we were, you were fucking everything that I was fucking, and boy, it wasn't moving. <laughs> Yeah, I can carry you around, put you in the audience everywhere I go. We'll be in good shape. <laughs> Me and this guy used to ride a motorcycle together. Have a hell of a good time. We, we play out things that uh, Colonel Sanders would have looked at kind of funny. But uh, I remember being single, you know, and, and, and as part of that sexual revolution thing. And I, 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 the nice thing about it was I didn't give a shit. Today you got to give a shit because this could be the right lady, you know. And if she don't have any sexual shit going on, you know, this you could like for weeks, months, you could stay with her for years even, maybe. Could be. You might even marry her. Yeah, I saw that look. <laughs> but the bottom line is, when, when, when I was young and I was out here doing this stuff, what was really great was to be able to just climb on a woman and just be nasty jack. You know what I'm saying? I'd get on there and I'd say, you know, I'd just do shit. I'd just tie her hands to the goddamn headboard and strap her feet down to the, you know, I'd let her climb on top, let her get on her knees. Hell, if she was good enough, I got all my knees. You know what I'm saying? That was a lot of fun. You can't do that shit anymore. It's like yuppie women. You can't, you can't make jungle sex with yuppie, with yuppie women. You just can't do it. Y'all know about jungle sex? You know jungle sex? That jungle sex is where, where you, somewhere in the middle of that, you start making all those discernible, undiscernible noises. Like, you do you love me? What the fuck are you saying? I don't know. I don't remember what I was saying. I haven't got a clue. I was just up there having fun. You know? Jungle sex is fun. But with yuppie women, yuppie women are so goddamn strange, you can't keep up with them. You know what I'm saying? Because you say shit like, I've got a little head. No, I, my head's about this big. You know, that's like, that's like I heard somebody talking earlier. You walk up and say, I got a blowjob. Woman goes, <laughs> No, no, no. You got to educate these women. You know what I'm saying? I took a young woman camping one time, went out into the woods, walking along the path, and we, you know, we set up our campsite. Saw two chipmunks, females on all fours, males behind her, plowing like, like the winter wheat was never going to get done. You know what I'm saying? That old male humping his ass off. Right? And, and, and this yuppie babe looks at me and she says, what is that? Now, I don't want to confuse her, you know what I'm saying? 
So I said, well, that's rope. We call that rope. Oh, rope, okay. We you know, got back to the campsite. We're sitting there at dinner time, and a couple of skunks off on the side there. You know, and the female is on her knees, and she's going, you know, and the male is behind her, giving it for all his work. Okay? And she looked at me, and she went, uh, rope? I said, yeah, rope. We got back in the tent later that night. We were in the sleeping bag, and I looked over at her, and I said, uh, hey, uh, you know, try a little red rope? She said, yeah, all right. Nobody put it in front of me. So she got on her knees and I got behind her and I was giving it hell. You hear what I'm saying? For all my 160 pounds skinny little ass was worth, I was plowing seeds. And next thing I know, I felt this hand come down and get me by my nuts and yank. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the other area you don't quite want to screw around with with, with a man because you touch his nuts and his eyes light up. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a Christmas tree. You go, go whoop, hop. And she got a hold of this and she started pulling. I mean, she's yanking. And I'm like, no, ooh, no, wait, hold, stop. I looked over and I said, what in the fuck are you doing? She said, hey, this rope is just a lot of fun, but I got to untie this knot because I need some more rope. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. Well, I'll tell you what. Been about that time. Y'all know that, my bear? Who knows about the bear? By applause. For those of you who don't know about the bear, let me explain that uh, by, by the way that I speak, you may have, you may have uh, garnered that I'm not from Alabama. I've been here 22 years, came down here from New York City. Came here in 1973, didn't know my ass from a mailbox. Didn't know anybody in town. And I decided that the best way for my, you know, to make friends was to find something in common. You know, if you're going to make friends, you got to find something that you can talk to people about. And well, sex came to mind, but, you know, guys don't do that. You make good guys do, but we don't. At least not in Alabama. It's really weird. Down here, it's like football. You say Alabama, everybody, what, you know what you hear? You sit at the table in Alabama with four men. You're the fifth guy. You say... Auburn. And you know what you hear? Five arms hit the bottom of the table. Football, you people are nuts, man. Football and what? Football and hunting. Everybody in this goddamn state hunts. Everybody hunts. You know what I'm saying? It's the craziest thing in the world. And what's even worse is, you let women hunt. Now, don't get me wrong. I love women. I think y'all are wonderful. I, I do, I, I do. But but y'all out there see men, listen guys, woods, camouflage, females, PMS, loaded weapon. There's a clue in there somewhere and I'm not sure if the people in Alabama understand where it is. You see what I'm saying? There's a woman out there in the woods with a fucking gun and I'm standing here in camouflage going, hope she don't see me. You know, and then when you got a guy who was hunting out there in the woods in the camouflage, who was in the sexual revolution, chances are there's seven or eight bitches out there with guns.